Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm going to work on making some page kits. Hopefully we'll get through five of them and I'm going to do them uh, real time and we'll chat at the same time and just chat about, you know, what's been going on and um, just to kind of feel like I'm actually chatting with someone. So the first thing, I just grabbed the first page kit that was on the top. I started putting these paper kits together about a month and a half ago, I would say. And I never finished putting them together. So now I'm at the spot where, you know, I am I want to put these page kits together because I kind of went through and s just to see how much I had left of page kits to put together. And I had less than 10, I believe. So I want to make sure that I have page kits. I'm trying to see what tone I want to use. I think I like that one. So we'll do this. Is there another one that has the same? Yes. I just want like the ticket look. Now two should be enough because I always cut them in half, but you could put it like this and then just put you know, do your journaling on this, or you could put like stamp a word or put stickers on it. These are in my shop. They are a digital file. So once you buy it, you can just print it over and over and over again. They're on sale right now for 25% off and they come in all kinds of colors. And my son is the one that put this together and he made sure that the sheet was full. Like there's no wasted space on this. Like everything, you got as many labels as we could possibly get on one sheet, which I love. And then, you know, we started with a few colors and then I was like, ooh, I think I want, you know, shades, all shades of one color. Because what I noticed was, although this was fun with having different colors, once I used these two and I wanted more blues, I was out of options and I only had one shade. So then I got him to to put together, you know, full sheets of one color. So that's how that came about. The last thing uh, we kind of released are these little one inch viewfinders. Aren't they just the cutest little things ever? I love them. I think I'm gonna put some in this page kit. Oh, they are so stinking adorable. So I think I'm going to do this one here. And I talked, uh, I've had uh, quite a few questions. I talked about how you can print, you know, light, normal, and intense. That is on your printer. And I do have a video here on YouTube that I talk about printing digital files. So... It's once you're in your printer, like you hit print and it's an option on there. It's a color option and then it's just something that you drag and you say dark or light and it's just that. So you can look at my video on that and of course every printer is different. So you'll have to play with how... Um, you get the different intensity. But I love that you get way more different colors that way. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to... I think I'm going to have to open the wings up a little bit so that I can get in there. Because otherwise, my punch can't get in there because it's kind of a, a wide punch. So I think I want three because these are not going to be uh, the embellishment foundations. They're going to be finishers. And what I mean by that is it's going to finish off an embellishment cluster. They're so stinking adorable. Another thing that you could do with those is, do you remember these? I got these on eBay, I think. And I got like several hundreds of them. And then I can just take this and put this over top and make my own fake flare. It doesn't look like a real flare, but you know, it's it's something that you can 
you can certainly do um, just to finish it off. Or you could take some liquid stuff. Uh, what's it called? Glossy accent. And you could pour that over top and then make your own. There's so many things that you can do with those little guys. They're so stinking adorable. Okay. Now I want a bigger one. I don't know if I want in pink to kind of go with that. So see these ones here, I got printed directly at my print shop. I sent them in and there was nowhere to say, I probably would have had to go in and say, okay, I want these printed and I don't want any borders. So they put these so that they had a border all the way around. So instead of two inches, they're one and three quarters. So if you print them at home, you can, you know, kind of specify well on your printer that you want no borders. I kind of like this pink or this pink. This pink is cute. This pink is cute too. Let me try to find... Oh, okay. So this is another one. I mean, I'm, I'm still using them just because they're not the exact size that, you know, it, they were supposed to be. I'm still using them. So I bought another container. I'll go get it and show you. Sorry about that, but I want to show you. I bought another one of these, and uh, I don't think Michael's is open right now because it's a non-essential shop. So I bought it on Amazon because I didn't want to wait. And um, so now I'm going to put like viewfinders two inches, and I'll put the different colors, you know, blue, and then whatever shade of blue blue, purple, pink, and depend, I'll figure out how many different colors I have, and then the sizes, and uh, how many is there in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's 16. So divided by, how many sizes do I have? Three. So five, I can have five, per size so I might have to put two colors in each and then I'm gonna try to punch out as many of those as possible and put them in the different ones like this so that I can have them already punched out I'm gonna try that and see how I like that And if I don't like it, it's not a big deal. I know I, I wanted to get another one anyway for my embellishments because it was kind of overflowing. <laughs> the embellishments are kind of overflowing in my other container. So I wanted to get another one. So if it doesn't work out for my viewfinders, that's okay. What you can also do, which I thought about doing, is getting a file folder and then getting a file folder for my two inches, a file folder for my one and a half, and a file fo folder for the one inch. So I might do that too. Oh, and I still need the labels. Ah, so yeah. Okay, I gotta think about this a little bit more before I totally commit. But I'll probably put like brown, black together, brown, black, and gray together. Okay, let's get some embellishments here. So I need purple and pink. Purple and pink. Okay, let's get some pink. There we go. These are so cute. There's flowers here. They're kind of different, but I don't know. They're so big. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take that one out of that. Maybe some, because there is some black in here. 
I'll put that in there. Living our best life right now. It has some pink in there. Let's see. Usually what I do is I take this right out when I start. But this morning I just came upstairs and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to start right now. <laughs> no time to prep. I just want to get going here. What is that? Weekend wandering. That's kind of neat. My happy place. Oh, I hope we get to, to camp this summer and all that stuff. I hope so. You know what though? If anything, this is going to make it so that we appreciate life so much more, right? Like appreciate the liberties that we have or we had. We don't really have them right now, but it's going to make us appreciate, you know, when we go camping, what that truly is. Like, it's amazing. Or even when we go on a trip, you know, truly appreciate everything that we have. Okay, so I'm going to have to, I don't want to go in this all the time. So I'm going to take them out and then I'll find a spot on my desk for after. So I can just keep taking them. Okay, the unopened packages I'll just put off to the side. It's mostly if I run out of stuff. Oh, is that ever pretty? It's got the purple, it's got the pink. Yay! That's cute too. It says happy dance. Life's little pleasures. Cute. Okay. So I'm going to take this. Love Pink Fresh Studio. Okay. Oh, I love that. And then Life's Little Pleasures, I think. So in my last video, I was like, oh, we're in our fifth week of, you know, self-isolation. No, we're in our sixth week. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, I don't know. It feels long and not at the same time. We're just doing what we have to do, right? Our province actually is doing really well. We've had zero cases in the last five days. And altogether, we've had 118 cases, 100 and, what is it? 104 have recovered already. And there's 14 people that are still, you know, recuperating and zero death. So, they were really quick on right away saying we're shutting everything down. And I think provinces, like obviously the province next to us, which is Quebec, is way bigger than we are. So obviously they're going to get more cases because they're bigger. But I think they were 10 days after us and their total cases is I think 16,000, which is a lot. And... um so, but still, kudos to our um, province to shut down super quickly. And I remember I was uh, at a crop and we were getting, you know, news like right away. Um, you know, the schools are shut down and then this is shut down, that is shut down. Then my daughter texted me on it was Sunday or Monday that was like March 13th that everything starts shutting down and on the 15th she texted me or was it Monday and said the whole province was on you know emergency uh, state um, and everything was shut down including the mall and everything it was like wow it was a little unreal 
but now we see that, you know, again, I've said this before, we won't know till we're on the other side of this, what this looks like. But already six weeks in, we see that doing that was totally the right choice. Um, now they're already talking about like second waves and third waves. And I'm like, no, we're not even done the first wave. Like, ugh. And they keep talking about the new normal and all this stuff. And it's like, you know. But I was reading uh, today on Facebook and people around here were saying, you know, they were going here and there and people are already starting not to listen to social distancing and stuff. And it's like, no, this is not the time to stop. Like, you got to keep, like, if you're in a store, make sure you're six feet away from someone. Wait, don't be... You can't be going to the store in a big rush. You need to chill and then know that you're going to be there three hours or do curbside pickup like what we're doing, right? The only store we're going to right now and we're only going one, one of us. And I would love to be able to go out because six weeks has been a long time. Although when I had to go to work, I had all kinds of like anxiety issues because of it then I was like why did I want to go out like I just want to be home right now <laughs> so it was like the total opposite but saying all that this is definitely something that we need to document like this is unprecedented nothing like this you know in in our lifetime my husband was telling me that uh, there was this lady that survived the Spanish flu. She's like 101 or something. And she also got this and survived it. You know, amazing. Um, and so, yes, we need definitely need to document this. I know this is kind of, you know, scary and all this stuff, but it's something that we need to document. And um, sometime this weekend... My son is finishing it up today. So it might go up today. We'll see. I want to print it off first and, and you know, kind of try it out myself. But uh, we're going to have some embellishments surrounding this. So it's only one sheet for now. We'll start with the one sheet and then um, go from there. But I wanted to make sh absolutely sure that, you know, I document this as scary as it is. It's still something that, you know, needs to be documented for sure. Okay. So I'm kind of looking for pink and kind of like this. Big day, big day. Okay. I'll put that in there. Okay. So I think our province is talking about starting to open up stuff in a couple of weeks, like in May. Non-essential businesses, but to keep in the in the tr thread of you know social distancing, and I hope people stick to that. And I won't have any issues to tell someone, please back up. It's six feet, and you don't have to be mean about it, but you, you know it's your right. Like I said, at work, I said, I don't feel comfortable people coming up to my desk. Please back away. <laughs> you know, and it, I never thought that I would be in a time that that would be happening, you know, but it is. And they say this could, ha could last from 12 to 18 months before there's a vaccine. So, boy buckle up right and let's let's get um in tune with the new normal the sooner we get in tune with it the easier it'll be on us because this whole thing is i think is going to be really hard on people's mental health and stuff so make sure you do stuff together as a family but also do stuff alone kind of need a balance. 
We'll balance it both. Okay. So I'm going to do this today, making page kits. And I think this afternoon, if I can grab some more time here, because um, we have a new puppy, so my son and I have to do stuff in in uh, <clears throat> tag team. So, so we have to do stuff in like a tag team because the new puppy. So right now I'm doing this and he's watching the puppy. And as soon as I'm done this, then I'll go downstairs. And while I'm uploading this video and all this stuff, you know, I'm going to um, clean up the kitchen and all that fun stuff. Then he's going to go working on some embellishment stuff. And someone has to be watching the puppy at all times because he's a baby. Well, actually, he's like a toddler, which is even, <laughs> which is even uh, more work. Okay. I don't even know what color to do with this. It's kind of all over the place. So I kind of have to choose some embellishments. So this is where it would be nice if they were punched out. Because then once I choose the color, I could just go, oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to look for some blues and then all my blues would be together. And then I could just put them on the page. The one thing is going to be difficult though by doing that is um, then when I run out of stuff, it's like, okay, which, which file was that though? That's going to be the only thing. Like I know this is going, this is like the turquoise. So I need to reprint the turquoise because I have this left. Um, I knew the turquoise one, I was going to use it a lot because I love, I love that color. So I'm trying to look in here and see what other color I could use up. I kind of like that there's a little bit of orange because maybe that would be a nice combo or red. Okay, let me, I don't think that's really two colors that I've kind of put together before. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna do red or orange. So there is so much here that I'm going to just do both. I'm going to bring both. And this, I'm going to need three each. Because, you know, I'm either going to just use orange or just red. But whatever I decide to use, because this is an embellishment finisher. Um, I'm going to need three for each each of the clusters. Kind of shaky. There we go. Okay. So today is Friday. Not that, you know, it makes really much of a difference. Everybody's home all the time. <laughs> except for except for Taylor. He does does work outside of the home. I work again on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week. So what, five days away? <clears throat> so I figure probably by Sunday night, I'll gonna stop sleeping again. <laughs> that seems to be the trend lately, about four or five days before I stop sleeping. And uh, I think it's just anxious, nervous about going to work and stuff, but Again, I just have to say to myself, you know, there's really not a lot of cases in our province, so. Should be good. Still, ooh. Still be careful, but I kind of like the darker because it makes it stand out. And I'm going to take this one here. And that's going to be my embellishment foundation and some finishers. And now I'm going to 
grab some of these and see what I can use. Is that drive? I kind of like that. Yes. Let's see what I can muster up out of these. And these are, you know, pretty much going to be all embellishment finishers here. I kind of like that. It kind of goes with that, like, really well. And here we go. Adventure awaits. I like that. What is that? It's a book. It's so pretty. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that flower really coordinates. No. Let's try to find maybe a few words that I could use. Let's see. How about that camera? Yeah. Oh, another flower. Not gonna need too too many things. How about another flower. Looking for sunshine. You know what? We had an entire vacation that was we're gonna drive until we find sunshine. And that's how we found one of our favorite campgrounds ever, and it was near Boston. So we kept driving and then we'd stop and we'd look at the local forecast and it'd be like rain. Like we looked in Canada first and right across Canada, it was just rain. And then we start looking south, you know, through the States. And then we were like, oh, okay. We don't have to drive too, too far. It was like 10 or 12 hours. And um, we found sunshine and we found one of our most favorite campgrounds there and we've gone like at least four or five times we haven't gone in a while because then since then we found uh mill washington and that area and we've gone two three times since or twice twice we've gone tw twice and um then last summer we said let's camp in our own province and we went five five places and then some of those places were you know campsites that we had gone to when the kids were really really little and they it was some of our favorites and we went back to those which we absolutely loved again this time and this summer i think it's going to be another um you know, stay in our province because I don't think they're going to open up because the province right next to us has 16,000 people that have it. So I don't think they're going to make it so that, which I don't blame them. I totally don't blame them because, you know, it, it's got to be contained somehow. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to be probably doing stuff in our own province again this summer. What about little hearts? Oh, it is hot in here today. And it's only like 10 or 9.30. Like it's super early. We're gonna go for a walk again today. Yesterday I didn't. And um, I don't know why, I was just super exhausted. This menopause thing, <laughs> I am not enjoying it. I was just feeling like I haven't had a nap in the middle of the day in like forever. And I had a nap yesterday, a three hour nap, three hours. I went and laid down at noon and I slept till three. And then I got up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to make supper. <laughs> so I got up and 
it was really a simple meal. I was making shepherd's pie yesterday, so I made it like super quickly. Today, I'm going to, I bought everything to make minestrone soup. Can't wait. I remember when I um, used to go, what was it, Pizza Delight? It was a pizza place. Anyway, they had this minestrone soup. Oh, I would, I just loved it. And I just never made it myself. So I'm like, you know what? You're going to make it today. And then tomorrow we're picking up groceries, curbside pickup and all this stuff from two places, two places. And um, then we're all, my husband's also going to go to Costco and um, we're going to get hamburger and I'm going to make spaghetti sauce again. Because I made some not that long ago. And uh, anyway, if we ate, oh, when I worked last, so two weeks ago, to make it easier on them. But then my daughter, my second daughter, loves spaghetti. And um, so the last, the time before that, I had made her a bunch of little one size, like for one person size um meals because her husband doesn't like spaghetti and uh she called me this week she goes uh next time you make spaghetti can you and i'm like oh i just made some and we froze like in big quantities so i can't i can't uh, cut it apart so i think i'm going to make some more this week or probably i don't know now weekend weekday all the same so I'll probably make it on Sunday. I'll probably have more time um, on Sunday because I'm trying to not come in my craft room on the weekend because I'm up here every day during the week. So I'm trying to, you know, not do that on the weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Or at least just come upstairs for, you know, to make one video and then kind of take, kind of take a little break. Okay, I need a bag. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how long that's going to last because I'm working on my next class for May, which is going to be um, embellishment focus so how to work on your embellishment clusters and what i'm going to do is um you know the building of the background and stuff will be kind of fast forwarded if you want to say and then when i get to making embellishments the clusters i don't think i want to work on the christmas one right now so i'm just going to put that to the side then I'll go real time and talk about the embellishment clusters and what I'm thinking and, and all this stuff. I've had quite a few requests for that. So that's going to be the next class. I've already started it, but I still want to, you know, make YouTube videos and all that stuff. So I'm working on it a little bit at a time. Let's see, I haven't been putting any um, enamel dots and that's because they're in here. And I know I'm not going to be going anywhere with these. So when I'm working on the page, I can just bring this out when I'm at that spot and just choose the enamel dots that I want. I really like, I, I love this page. Love it. This is from October Afternoon. Firm Girl. 2012 that is an older pattern paper love it okay I have such a mess here right now I think the next thing I'm going to work on is uh, I still haven't done what I read in March, March, yeah, <laughs> had to think here, 
in March for what I read for in my project life. So I got to get that done. I'm still working on December daily. So I'm thinking that I'll try to do another couple pages of that. So those are the two things that's going to be next, but I wanted to do this. So I should make like a little, you know, one, 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 put five page kits together, do a page. So I actually get to use those page kits and then do a December daily and then work on a project like my, my album of my album for words, um, all my books and stuff that I've read. Cause I want to keep up on that. Definitely want to keep up. Okay. Now I'm cold. I'm on book number eight right now and I'm about 50 percent 50 or 60 percent into one book and about 38 percent on another one and about seven percent on a third one I'm kind of concentrating on two right now and the reason for that is one of the books has 600 pages and I want it done before the end of March or what what month are we April before the end end of April um so I'm kind of concentrating on that one because you know it's it's a big book and that's the book I'm 50 percent through I think I'm at 300 pages or something and it's 600 and some I think I'm at 48 percent actually so concentrating on that one the other one is uh, and that one is a conjuring of light by V.E. Schwab and I just want to finish a series that'll finish up a series for me <clears throat> which I love plus it's a page a book that's 500 pages because I'm kind of running behind on my my goal that way uh, reading some books that are over three uh, 500 pages kind of like that that it kind of printed like that because my printer was running out of ink but I kind of like it and I think this is one of the ones that that before I discovered printing without border there was a lot of trial and error yeah well, maybe It's got a little white border, but I'm okay with it. So I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to use that for this. Well, that's always fun when you just have a little piece. There we go. Love that. So two of those should be enough. I'm going to go again with the little ones. I just printed those, so I'm totally in love with those. I want to make sure that I use them quite a bit. Okay, so let's get... What's next? Let's get some of this and see what we can add onto here. We'll add that. I love that. So I think probably in a couple of hours we'll go for a walk. We try to go at lunchtime because that's because it's still cool. It's still very cool. The other day we were walking and all of a sudden it started like hailing and everything. Like it was like one eighth inch of like hail coming down. And I was like, ow, 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 because it was like hitting in the face. <laughs> It was so cold. This is the earliest that we've started walking. We started on March 22nd, and I should write that down somewhere so that I don't forget that we started early this year. 
and I've also injured my knee. I don't know how, but I've injured my knee. So I bought this strap for my knee. I got two of them. The first one did come in, so I'll try that today. And hopefully that kind of helps. It doesn't hurt when we first start off. It hurts about halfway through. And I want to make sure that we walk a lot this summer. So I'm going to make sure that I buy what I need to get walking. So just need to be careful, right? And as soon as it starts to hurt, then we kind of slow down and don't walk as fast because we're, we're both fast walkers. So I enjoy walking fast. And I'm like that. Like if I go to the store, I just don't casually walk. I walk. And even like when we parked and we would go to the hockey game, you know, we just like boot it. Like everywhere that we would go, we always walked as fast as we could so that every time we walked, it was like we were getting our exercise in. And I've always been like that. Always, you know, it's, let's just do that. I think this is number three, isn't it? It seems to be going fairly slow today. I did have a good night's sleep, which is really surprising because I had a three hour nap yesterday. I have to say though, it was like 1230 before I went to sleep. I did end up um, reading a little bit. And then I started watching this couple, what's it called? KYD dreams and it's all about RVing and going on they 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 travel full time I mean they're not right now because of everything that's going on but they travel full time and I'm like oh my gosh I would love that. I would love to be able to take off for like a month or two and just drive hopefully that becomes uh, uh, you know, it, it's a reality again that we can do stuff like that again. I I hope so. I hope so. Okay. I like this. I like this. I'll take this. No, don't think I need that. I get no I think I have enough stuff here so I'm going to get a plastic bag and we'll put that away we're doing stuff to um, like at home we did a couple of puzzles we've completed a couple of puzzles since all this started we're playing games um, watching movies also um, I'm reading a lot my husband which he was doing before but I think he's doing even more uh, I got him totally hooked on audiobooks a few years ago and so he's listening to a lot of audiobooks I'm listening to I always listen to just one audiobook and then I read the rest. So usually I listen to one audiobook a month. He listens to like seven. Like he is loving. And the last book that I read was uh, The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. And he had finished, he just finished um, Chain of Gold, which he loved, by the way. And um, then he listened to the new series, um, that started Magnus Bain and Alec, which he also loved. He loves the um, 
shadow hunter. So do I. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I'm done. I don't know what I want to read. And I said, oh, I just finished this new book and it's called The Raven Boys. And he loved it. I think he listened to it in like two days. So, um, which it's on Scribd. And if you've never heard of Scribd, I have a link in the description box below. And it says it's unlimited. Usually by seven or eight books, they kind of cut you off and say you can't listen to any more till the next month. But it, that's still pretty good. Like eight books for $8.99 a month. Still pretty good. And um, <clears throat> But what I like is if we're listening to the same book, then it only counts as one. So, you know, we were out of... Like, you know, it said that we had to wait till April 24th or whatever it was before we could listen to more. But I had already listened to The Raven Boys. So I was like, why don't you listen to that? It's it's in our, like, we can listen to that because it counted as one. And he absolutely loved it. He's already on to the second book, The Dream Thieves, which he started a couple days ago. So I'm kind of thinking he's probably almost done that one too. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to do pink or yellow or black? Pink, yellow, or black? Hmm. No, that's probably going to be one of the bases. So I want a color. I kind of like pink. Let's check yellow. Oof, that's that's when my printer was running out of ink. I've sensed. Um, Oh man, I, I mentioned it in one of the videos where I bought my refills. Let's see if I can. This is how it came. Precision colors. So I can, I mean, look how much is left. I've refilled it already once and there's all, like there's this much. And it comes with a resetter. You have to reset your cartridge every time and all eight inks. I paid like $200, a little over $200 with the shipping and everything, but that's going to last me for a long time. And I was going through cartridges like crazy. So, um, and I like the quality of the printing. Like I really, I've been using it for quite a while now, a couple months, I would say. And I really like the quality of the inks. Now, I haven't printed pictures with it <laughs> because I've been printing um, embellishments. So I can't say for pictures. But it's got to be better than the off brand that I bought that time. That was, that was horrible. But... This seems to be working out really well. So this is the one and a half inch. And I'm going to get three also. Um, just to let you know, we're going to have different kinds of embellishments. I just wanted these viewfinders so bad that I got him to do a whole bunch, but there's going to be different things just because I love embellishments and I love that I'm able to print it out and we're going to make it so that it's um, fairly like versatile so that you can use them over and over again. Let me see. Is that the same color? I don't think that's the same color. Nope. Okay. Let me find this is the same color. Other direction. Okay, let's go down here. So what I do also is, you know, I try to clean up the papers like this. Once in a while, I'll go and I'll cut all these off just so that everything is cleaned up. 
And that's another reason why I want all these punched out. So I can sit in front of the TV and just, you know, punch a whole bunch or listen to an audiobook and punch a whole bunch. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to stop at four today. Because I think I was a little slow on the uptake today. <laughs> I was a little, little slow. So I think this is gonna be like a really long video. All the feels, I like that. So four is pretty good. And it was just a chance to chat and see how you guys are making out. I'm hoping to be able to do some lives it's just been a little challenge lately but i'm hoping not next week because i'm i'm going back to work and usually a few days before i'm like no good for nothing <laughs> i just kind of get her laundry situation which i've already i've already started the laundry so um but i get our laundry situation all done i make sure that because when I work, I can't cook. I can't do anything else except work, come home, shower, eat, and go to sleep. That's it. That's the only thing that my brain can handle. So, a few days before, I kind of rest rest my brain that little bird actually goes really well with this because it's got the blue the pink and the green so we'll take that little bird and stick it here I like that what else uh, nothing else on here what about these no Oh, I don't have any labels. I'm going to have to, and big, bigger viewfinders. Let's do that before I forget. They're underneath here, and that's why I forgot about them. What color should I do? Pink, yellow, or green? I'm just going to take that and put it up against the background, because then it kind of gives me an idea what color I want to go. I like that yellow. So let's see if I can find. Let's see. Maybe this yellow. This yellow would be okay too. Okay. Definitely need to regroup actually I kind of like this yellow okay so let's do that let's make decisions here make some decisions and then I'll have to find some viewfinders and then that way I can go sort of deeper color with the viewfinders Go. I'm not going to cut neatly around it. I can do that when I get the page done. But for now, just looking. For some yellow. I don't know how I got black ink on my hands. No idea. I'm, t I'm just using papers right now. How is that even possible? Where is my yellow sheet? Okay. It must be, I don't have all of them right here. I'll have to grab the rest of them. Boop, boop. 
I gotta do something about organizing all this stuff. Definitely. Let's see. It's all grays. Just a couple days ago, I had all the one and a half together, and I had all the one inch together and the two inches together and it doesn't take long that oh okay i think i like this one here so again cut off the excess get rid of that i think this is going to get pretty much separated right now. And then we'll just need two of those. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now I can finish. I think I like that. Yeah trying to expand and not just use one color <laughs> try to oh, this has pink and yellow on it so let's take that not just do the one color another thing I started doing is a diamond painting I had stopped for a little bit and I started again um, I'm working on a diamond art club one so I, um, I've had a few people ask me like, oh, you stopped doing diamond painting on YouTube. Are, are you going to start again? Yes. Probably next week. That's probably one of the videos that I'll start. I'll, uh, cause that's real time too. So I, I do it real time, upload it, you know, real time in the moment takes a little bit more time because I have to talk while I'm doing it. But on the back end, it's so much less work. So much less work. Um, I can get, you know, as soon as I get this done, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to upload it to my computer. And then just a few little things that I have to do. And then I can start rendering it and then uploading it to YouTube while when I do a voiceover, it's quite a bit more work. But it's easier to tape it because then I can just put an audiobook on. I don't have to talk for the entire hour, but then I have to do the voiceover. And this feels more like we're chatting, so it, I find it easier for some odd reason, even though I have to talk for like an hour. I do find it easier because then I get to talk about, you know, all kinds of stuff. Trying to find just a few embellishments to, you know, kind of finish this off. Don't, don't need a whole bunch. Um, a lot of times, you know, I put quite a bit, especially if I'm going away to a crop, then I make sure that my page kits are really full. But what you need to make sure is to have, you know, your embellishment foundations and then some embellishment finishers. And I love having like arrows and words and stuff like that. So that's how I kind of build the page kits that way. I like this. We'll cut that off. Put that in there. I'll take this one. And then I have hello and all the feels. So I think this is going to be the last one. And I only did four today, but I think I was a little chattier and it was taking me a longer time to decide on the embellishments I was going to put in there. But we still
still got, you know, we still got some done. So that's good. And um, that's it. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.